All right, we got a quick story for you before we head over to, to the Starbucks. The line's very long, so I'm gonna tell this story real quick. We just got through pumping some gas and it reminded me of it. Monday morning, I had to pull over and get gas. You know, it's like two o'clock in the morning. And uh, this little old red SUV, he come, he come a flying up, you know, and he's got his hands flailing like stop, stop, you know, and, and stuff. And, I'm like, oh, here we go. We got us a challenge this morning, Sarjo. You know, so I was like, hmm, this is interesting. Anyway, he pulls up to the pump on the other side of me and and stuff, and uh, I'm sitting there staring <clears throat> as this robust, let's say, man gets out of his car. Y'all, all I get is a big old ass in my face, a big old robust ass is looking back at me. I'm like, well, huh, this ain't good. So, <laughs> I opened up my truck door, grabbed my knife, and uh, I walked to the back and opened up the back door, you know, so Sarge, you know, if I need him, he'll come on out. And uh, as I'm looking at this ass, this man's just a stretch and nonchalantly. And then about that time, he, you know, he grabs hold of his britches and pulls them up. And I'm thinking, oh, Lord, why did I have to see that? I, I would really like to unsee that, huh, Sarge? That was just too much just in the, at 2 o'clock in the morning. So anyway, he comes on around the pump, and as he's coming around the pump, he's like, oh, sweet Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we need help. Please, Jesus, we need us some help. Please let this lady help us, Jesus. And I'm like, well, okay, then. You know, it's kind of odd. You pull up bare ass, and then now we're going to talk, you know, to Jesus. But okay. So as he comes around the back side of the pump, the back part of my truck, you know, and walks towards me, I said, it's close enough. And he's like, well, I ain't going to hurt you. You know, and he has his hand stuck out. And I said, sir, I, I, you know, I won't shake your hand. I said, what seems to be your problem this morning? About that time, Sarge sticks his head out around the door and starts growling. He's like, oh, oh, wow. Uh, that, that dog, you know, he might, you might want to shut that door. I said, no, sir, I won't shut my door. You know, the dog's fine. State your business. <laughs> so, <laughs> he goes, well, you know, I'm trying to get from here to over there to back to here. And I need a couple of dollars, just a couple of dollars. You know, that's all I need. And before I can say anything, you know, he's, he's reiterating it. I just need to get from here now to over there, to back to here. You know, I got oil leak and I need gas. You know, sweet Jesus, I'm, I just need a little help, Jesus. And I said, sir, you know, I'll give you a couple of dollars. You know, I don't have a lot on me, just like you. I have to work hard for my money and times is hard. And um, Sarge, about that time, sticks his head back out around the door and Arr, you know, at him again. He's like, well, I'd feel better if you shut that door. I said, well, I ain't shut my door. You know, my dog is my protector. And uh, so as I'm talking to him, I keep looking at that car because I see another man in the back, you know. And uh, I'm like, yeah, you probably just tried to pay you John. <laughs> or maybe, you know, you were having extra, you know, activities and you just don't have the money to pay for the job. As, you know, one would say. <laughs> about having a 50 sorry stop hey stop i forgot about having a 50 dollar bill in my pocket so i reached in my pocket anyway now when i pulled out my money i had three ones in that 50 and of course he eyeballed that 50 you know i had into the three you know the three ones put the 50 back in my pocket and so he just stands there just like dumbfounded he was like you can't up a couple of more dollars i said sir i'm not the atm i'm not a teller at a bank I'm not the cashier of the store. I will not, go, you know, I can't, ain't breaking money to give you change. Take the three dollars and go from here to there and back to here. That's all I can do for you, sir. And uh, he was like, well, okay then. So as he's walking back around the backside of the pump, you know, back around his car, I start hearing him, and this is him. Well, God, you know, GD, mother f and there he, he just went to rambling, you know. And I was like, well, what happened to Jesus? Where did Jesus go? <laughs> I was, it was, I, I was just dumbfounded, wasn't I, Sarge?
want you to know to have Sarge. Like I said, Sarge would be bigger. <laughs> great day today and uh, be careful out there hope no big old butts you know come at you or nothing anyway we talk to y'all later love you around the world back to the money back huh sarge thank you sarge for all your help that day i appreciate it buddy